Forces Creating Sustainability. Today I want to discuss water systems and the house. This house has vents going out, but this one up here, does it show? Yep, this one up here is interesting because in the cyclades, when you build the cement home, columns infill with brick, the top is a cement slab, and on that slab you want some form of insulation. In the future I'll put the insulation down, pour the slab on that, but this time we had the insulate on top of the slab, pour another slab on top of that. So to make sure that my external insulation and my top slab isn't leaking, I got these hole in the first slab, created a swimming pool, that way if water leaks through the top it goes into there, it comes out this hole. So I know I have a problem, but I know I can also fix the problem and it's not going to be never seen and rotting my home from the inside. I've got three roof sections that drain water. One's here, so naturally this is where a water tank's going to go. I have a drain pipe there and another one up the front, and that brings water out here. So it just looks like I'm throwing the water away, but in that section I'm going to put a well. So now I have a well here. The water will go into the well in winter and recharge the ground aquifer. A swale there is 150 metres long and holds 70 cubic metres of water. So in summer we're all in the same boat. We desperate, desperately need water and we're all suffering because of it. So I have to tank in water up to the top tank and water everything with a hose rather than putting down plastic and elastic systems, which I'm a little bit opposed to. Um, so I water everything in my block, which is 12 stream, by hand. So the other two pipes are here. I've got this drain, which runs down there. I've got these two. I'll explain that, but these two go into a future first flush system, then into a tank which is quite high so I can gravity feed my garden, which at the moment is just just hugel culture, zigzagging and winding through the property with the double reach garden bed. I have a small keyhole garden there, I have a small keyhole garden there, I'm gonna build one there, build one down there, but back to water. The road is not straight down the middle. The road is on contour, runs across the contour, and then runs back on contour here. So I've got contour, ridge line, contour. Between is where the water flows and creates erosion problems. So if you design your road, for example, straight down the middle, then all the water that collects on the entire block goes into that road and runs it straight into my house. Whereas by having this on contour, the water just sits, it doesn't flow anywhere. Up the top I've created gabions, which is little stone walls from raking up the stone and a hugel culture mound. Now this, this hugel culture mound is 55 metres long, off contour, it slopes, the water soaks into that through the entire system and out here. The water that runs down the road that would have caused erosion problems is now running in along these gabion lines to water my trees and then overflow into the next one and overflow into the next. The water that isn't captured in my garden and run down into the swale runs into this diversion trench and this trench runs into my garden. The other excess comes from here into my garden and weaves its way through but the rest goes into my house. So in the home I've got um, underneath two meters wide of gravel the bottom of that a French drain and that's the reason why I've got this mess here because I don't want the water going into here because the water will go straight through because there's no roots to suck it up and hold it so it'll go straight through into my French drain and I'd rather not have water around the base of my house at the moment so I'm pushing it into the future garden and by the way the greenery here is nitrogen fixing soon thrown down with straw on top. Where the straw got blown away, here you can see the sea, and here you can see more sea, but where there's no straw, there's no growth. So interesting how nature works by doing biomimicry. I've got ground cover, the seed sits in there, the birds don't eat the seed, 
and um, it sprouts, whereas where there's bare ground, nothing happens. And that's what this place was for 50 years. It's desertified um, and it just hasn't grown back other than the pioneer bushes and nothing else has come through. So that's why I'm here converting it all. Water is the key. I've shown, demonstrated house water systems and some garden water systems. Um, later on what I'll do is go into diversion trenches of water flow and swales and how they affect um, your longevity really. Anyway, see you later.